So first of all, so that uh, basically break in July 15, 2018, about three days later, the uh, owners, so, you know, they're, they're out there July 18th, 2018. There's a post that says, uh, please help us to identify the suspect who broke in the store. Um, and later on in HLN, they retained um, experts, very, very transparent. Is that Kenny Veach? Is that not Kenny Veach? And to the best of our knowledge, there's no, um, there's no confirmation by the, you know, by the experts. So this, this idea that basically, so we want to, so we think, we think, you know, there's, it's very transparent. Um, basically, you know, people, you know, coming forward and saying, you know, who, who broke into our store. Um, and, and then on the HLN, the, um, you know, they retained those two experts, try to, you know, identify what happened. So, you know, we think it's very transparent. We don't think there's any type of, you know, you know, odd secrecy or any, any of that. So they're, they're, absolutely not. And so this, this is the way we see it. How do you, how do you solve the Kenny Veach mystery? Okay. So, um, it starts with the family. It starts with the consensus of the family, and it doesn't start with you. It doesn't start with the Kenny Veach commentariat. It doesn't start with your, um, with your million theories, with your million million dollar theories. It doesn't doesn't start with that. So you know, basically, if if the family has consensus, that's their consensus. So um, our opinion is that basically Kenny Veach, he would have been so he was forty seven when he disappeared. Um, on the CCTV, if that was him, that would be, he would be around 50, he would probably be around pegged at 51 years of age. We don't, we're still not convinced. We're, we're not convinced, um, to us, um, we're not sure if Atari agrees, but maybe she said the same before, before us, but basically we, we think the, um, the person looks youngish. It doesn't, we're not convinced that's Kenny. And what, what is kind of weird is that. Um, breaking into a spiritual center is kind of strange. Uh, in our opinion, you know, they're not, those are not readily convertible stolen goods. Um, you know, you know, no one's, most people, you know, they're going to be, they're going to be targeting like, you know, brand name, um, clothing, some, you know, electronics, something that that's going to be easily convertible on the street. Okay. So you're, you're not going to, you're not going to basically, you know, hoard a bunch of crystal sacramentals, religious items, spiritual items, and, that, that those are not easily convertible goods on the street on black market so that's kind of weird um, maybe the person was going for the for the register we don't know but basically we're not we're not really we're not agreed that we're personally not agreed that's Kenny um, but you know if if there are any relatives that think that's him um, the, the relatives their you know they their opinion has far greater weight because family are better recognizing you know other family members so we're not 100% agreed, and to us, the family, they were very transparent because, you know, if they weren't, you know, if they weren't being transparent, why would they have written, why would the two experts be retained? So very transparent. And so basically, as for the search, if, if the, we always believe that, you know, different leads should be run in parallel. So if some relatives believe that's, believe he's alive, and if some have doubts, we always thought, you know, that should be run in parallel because it's like a weighted theory. So w what if you think 80% he's alive? What if, what if you think 99% that's Kenny Veach on the CCTV? And what if there's, what if there's just 1% he's out there, um, on the ravines? So even if there's 1%, that 1% theory should also be run in parallel as, as another lead. So, but in order to, in order to, if, if so, if, if any relatives believe he could be on the mountain, um, it would have to start with family because it would be the, the family would have the power to basically tell, um, Las Vegas Metro to basically, um, you know, have probably have, you know, the search and rescue go out there and, you know, and, and really pound the ground and, and recover him. So, you know, basically in our opinion, uh, you know, basically it has to start with a family consensus. It has to start um, you know, if, if any member's family think that's him, what we mean is if, if they think that he's out in the field, you know, they're, they're going to have to, you know, they're going to have to push search and rescue, you know, that, that would be up to them. But, but as it relates to the, to the other stuff, um, here's the thing. So, so this whole idea, the, the, uh, the, the Kenny Veach commentariat, 
all of these people with different theories, but their opinions really just don't matter what whatever. So they, they, it don't matter at all what they what these people think. So and you know in, in our opinions, so you know if we believe that he he's he's out there somewhere on, on the sheep range. Um, well, either way, it has to start with it has to start with the family. It has to start with their consensus. What you know, what they want to do, and if they if they if if they think if any one of the family has doubts and they think that he could be out there, he could be recovered. Then, in our opinion, what they should what you know what should be done is basically have the search formal search and rescue. They get out there because they're going to have all the resources to really pound the ground over private searchers. So. You know, if you want to pressure, if you want to pressure the search and rescue, that's up to, you know, that's going to be up to them.